As the final campaign push began this weekend, the Coalition Avenir Quebec candidates in the five ridings of West Quebec held a news conference in Gatineau with a message for anyone who wants change in the region, you have a unique chance on Monday to end 40 years of liberal reign here in the Ottawa, said the CAP candidate in the Papina riding, Matthew Lacombe, the Liberal. MNAs in West Quebec, we have to say, have betrayed the region for too long, Lacombe said, suggesting the region's voters would be better served with CAC MNAs in a CAC government. Liberal strongholds tough to crack the CAC has had a roller coaster ride in the polls during the campaign, with the latest suggesting the party is headed toward a possible minority government after Monday's vote. But in the Liberal stronghold of the outer way, the CAC has a steep hill to climb. In 2014, the Liberals handily won each of the five West Quebec ridings, Pontiac, Gatineau, Hull, Chapleau and Papineau, with more than 50% of the votes cast. In the Pontiac riding, the Liberal candidate won with 76% of the electorate. It would be hard to believe the CAC could make inroads in the region with that level of Liberal support, said CBC poll analyst Eric Grenier. CAC has eye on Papin now the Liberals came closest to losing a riding in the region in 2012 when the Liberal candidate in Papin 01 with fewer than 200 votes against the party Quebecois candidate. This time, the incumbent, Liberal candidate Alexander Ira C.A. Grave is once again facing a fight, this time against C.A.Q.'s Lacombe, with a poll taken in the middle of the campaign suggesting the race was neck on neck. We're not taking anything for granted, because this election could come down to a few dozen votes, said Lacombe, a former TVA news announcer. The challenge will be getting out the vote. Watch Chaplo election night. Another race to watch Monday will be the riding of Chaplo, which includes the eastern portion of the city of Gatineau where a late campaign poll has the spread between the Liberal and CAC candidates narrowing. The incumbent, Marc Carrier, won the riding by 58% in 2014. The Liberals could have an advantage on election day, with a long-established, get-out-the-vote machine of volunteers in the region. Getting out the vote, GOTV, I will be working until 8 o'clock on Monday to encourage voters to get out and vote, said Carrier. As to whether the Ottawa electorate is best served by a Liberal MNA despite a projected CAC government, he responded, I'll answer that on October 2nd, PQ candidates are still hoping to keep their status as the change option for West Quebec voters, having come in second place in the ridings in 2014, I'm not looking at the polls, said the PQ's Marisa Nadeau, who's running in Hull. She said she's been working full-time on the campaign making sure voters understand the real issues, voting hours for Monday's vote are between 9.30am and 8pm.